Welcome back, friends. Hope you're having a great morning so far. Our dear friend Jillian is out in Greenfield this morning at the Hancock County Fair with our friends from Nine Star Connect. Jill, what's going on, friend? How you doing? Two lemons. Okay. Hey, Rye, we're doing great out here. It's summertime. We're at the fair. There's fair rides. There's fair food. And, of course, there's lemon shakeups, which you might have seen me making before the break or attempting to make. I'm going to need a little bit of help. But I want to learn more about the fair and everything that Nine Star Connect is doing out here with our friends David Spencer, who you guys know, and Angie as well. Hi, Angie. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. So the fair's underway, so much going on, and Nine Star's a big part of this, David. Yeah, we're thrilled to be a part every year, and, and this year's really special because we're the presenting sponsor of the fair. That's something new for us, and we're really excited about um, coming out, helping the fair and, and our community. Yeah, I couldn't help but notice during those lemon shakeups, which I'm enjoying, it's actually very good, that this is a nice little souvenir you can take home. Yeah, in fact, uh, we're gonna be out here at the lemon shakeup stand all week. Uh, we have some of our employees working different shifts throughout the week. Plus, we've got these great tumblers um, that when you come out and get a lemon shakeup, you get to keep the tumbler. Mine is really special because since you visited us last year, yeah. our county queen became state fair queen. Oh, that's amazing. Claire Bishop. We're really proud of Claire Aww. and everything she's accomplished. She's going to be at uh, Purdue in the fall, but um, this is an extra special uh, cup. But um, it's the only one like it, so if you're coming out to get one of these cups, you're, you won't get one. But um, we're just thrilled to be here and, and promote the fair all week. Thankfully, we're going to be checking in with Claire and some of the other queens. And yes, seeing the animals. That'll be coming up in just a little bit because they look so cute over there in the barn. But for now, we're talking about some of the food, some of the rides. I want to know what your favorite part of the fair is, Angie. <gasps> Definitely the pizza. Definitely got to get the pizza. York Wright pizza. Five o'clock. Oh, nice. <laughs> and how about you? And not to forget, lemon shake up. Oh, yeah. For sure. I'm going to need a tutorial from you in just a moment. But okay. You were kind of struggling in there. Yeah, I was. Bit. Honestly, I really thought, how hard could this be? And then I was just fumbling and bumbling and just losing everything. You know what? I think I need to learn from the pros. Can you Let's teach go. me? Let's, Let's go. Let's get back there. Sure. David, as we're walking back into the lemon shake up stand, Tell us a little bit more about maybe your favorite parts of the fair. Well, uh, Angie mentioned the pizza, uh, the tri cappa donuts, and I think one of the greatest things about uh, the fair each year is just being able to come back and see different people in the community and uh, get to visit with everybody. So. Yeah, I know it's nice just to connect and hang out. So Angie, I know you're going to show me how to do this the right way. What are you adding first here? We are doing four pumps of sugar. Okay. You got to have it sweet. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. And two of lemon. Okay. Love it. And then we're going to put the ice in. Nice. That's the most refreshing part when you're out here and it's hot and you have that perfect lemon shake up. Oh, Angie, you're doing good. And then we put the water in it. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll go over here. David, you got us covered with the water I there? Do. Got the water. All right, filling that up. And then we're going to shake it. Okay. Now, this here's is, the part I should This is where it got its name. This is yes. the shake. <laughs> yes. It's not a lemon, you know, <laughs> let it sit there. It's a lemon shake up. It's a lemon shake up. You got you to gotta shake it around a little bit. And then, of course, the straw. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I love a container like this too because then you can reuse it. And voila! There it is. Oh, it's, it's done. It's just that easy. It's perfect. Yeah. You made that look a lot easier than I did. <laughs> Great job. I'm going to grab mine over here so I can cheers you. Hey, cheers, Angie. Thank you. Cheers. I love a good lemon shake up. Now, for anybody who actually hasn't been before, why would you say that they have to come here and check it out? Definitely the camaraderie of all of the community. Everybody knows everyone. Yeah. Love to visit with everyone. Uh, well, it's a great time. Yeah. And all the proceeds from the lemon shake-up stand go to the Hancock County Ag Association. So it's a great way to give back to the community. That's yes. amazing. Well, as David said, all those proceeds go to a great cause. I think we're having a little technical difficulties a little bit, but we'll see you guys soon with the animals and so much more from Nine Star. We'll check in with you guys in just a little bit. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> Shakeups did look good. Hey, welcome to our next guest, Jesse Blythe. He's the co-owner of Leviathan Bakehouse at 11th and College downtown. He's brought an amazing spread of some of their products that you can enjoy there in the shop. Jesse, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, Happy man. Thanks for being here. Let's yeah. talk about uh, the bakehouse. What's yes. going on there? How long have you guys been around? Yeah, uh, so we opened like right in the middle of 2020. Wow. Um, which was a interesting time to open. Yeah, but it sure. worked out. Everything uh, went great. The neighborhood was 
very receptive of us and very happy that we were there. Nice, man. Yeah. So how long have you been in the baking world? I mean, was this something um, that you grew up with or just wanted to bit, try yeah. out? Yeah, I mean, growing up, our my brother and I, who is also one of my business partners, our mom would bake fresh bread like every week. Yeah. It was always an amazing experience. So he got into baking a little more than I did, and then I kind of got into it about five years ago, Okay, I'd say. Nice. Now yeah. these breads, you, you were telling me in the break that some people come in and don't believe that they're real. Because they look <laughs> yeah, that's right. so yeah, perfect. Yeah. 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 What's, what's the secret behind some of these breads, man? Well, so all of our bread at Leviathan is um, naturally leavened sourdough bread. So okay. it's sort of an old world style of uh, making bread yeah that it's it just has this really kind of dark beautiful color to it and the caramelization on the crust is very very nice it looks beautiful yeah. what uh, what kind did you bring today so with you? we have a few different ones okay. here in the front uh, that's gonna be our marble rye Ooh. in the middle that one is our porridge bread which is like a sourdough with a toasted grain porridge that goes into it it adds a nice wow like flavor and texture okay and that one's incredible uh, in the back that's our milk bread that one is just like like a basic, um, kind of like a basic white bread. Yeah, okay, know. they look super good. Yeah, and, and then a baguette. I, oh yeah, I can't go wrong with the baguette, man. Uh, let's, tr can I try the, uh, you said this one was the yeah. porridge bread. Porridge. Can, I, can I try some yeah. of that? Yeah, cut that some looks open. absolutely great. They're actually still a little bit warm. These oh, all came nice. out of the oven about, I'd say less than an hour ago. Okay, I'm gonna move these so the good people of Central Indiana can see you just cut into that. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, so, you can smell it if you cut it. If you want to grab it, I don't know if you. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Grab this yeah, right yeah, here. Just okay. grab right there. Oh wow, it is warm. Look at that. Man, that's awesome. Let's talk about some of the uh, the other pastries and, and yeah. items that you have yeah, that you're famous certainly. for. Yeah. Um, so we're our croissants um, right there yep. on the on the end of the table. Those are. Definitely one thing that we're known for. Well, a lot of what we do at Leviathan is like a, is, it's an old world style of baking. So the croissants are, you know, laminated dough. Um, they're very flaky. The inside is just soft and delicate yeah. and chewy. And that's a lot of the reason that people come in. Yeah. So we have our plain croissants right okay. there. Uh, this one here is one of our more popular ones. It's like a blueberry lavender okay. filled oh, wow. croissant. Nice. Um, that one's awesome. Uh, okay. This is called a Queen Amon. That mm. is actually my personal favorite pastry that okay. we make. What's in it? In the shop. There's actually nothing in it. So huh. it's just a, a mix. It's like just butter, sugar, and uh, dough. And then you bake okay. it. It gets really flaky. Queen and Amon. All right. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. Listen to that. Listen to yeah. that. Oh, man. That sounds. Here, I'm going to give you half, too, just because sure. you said it was your favorite. Yeah. This is definitely one that uh, you need a napkin with because it um, it's oh, decides yeah. to fall yeah. apart. I feel like 90% <laughs> of my job is cleaning up crumbs. Mm. Oh my word. That's fantastic. It's really good. Good job on the Queen of Mon there, man. Thank you. Um, so people can come in, get a cup of coffee, hang out, do some work. Mm. Tessa, get in here. You want to try everything here. Yeah, yeah. jump in. Get in here, Tessa. What are you taking? Are you, you're just taking that one? That's yeah. our chocolate what? croissant. <laughs> Dive in. This is our crew member, Tessa, who we yeah. all love. Thank you. Yeah. She has a. Uh, she has a thing about stealing food during segments. And yeah, you just go enjoy that over there. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Tessa. Um, what's, what's behind the name, Leviathan? Why did you guys pick that? It's, um, well, for one, we just kind of thought it was a cool word. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. something different, something that kind of stands out from, um, you know, we didn't want just something kind of uh, basic. We wanted something right. that stood out a little yeah. bit, like Leviathan. So to us, that means Leviathan is sort of something old and powerful mm -hmm. and wise, and to us, that's sort of baking. I love it, man. That's so cool. Where can people find you? How can they support you? We are located at 11th and College, just north of Mass Ave, um, if you're familiar with that area. Sure. Right now, it's all actually shut down with construction. They're well, tearing down works, that bridge yeah. right there. Uh -huh. And yeah, and the bottle works construction, but you are able to get to us either from coming up college okay. or on 11th Street. Awesome. You guys have to go in. LeviathanBakehouse.com is the website. Jesse, thank you so hey, much. Thanks for having me. Best wishes to your brother and your other uh, business owner. Um, thanks for doing what you're doing and yeah. feeding us today. And I know Absolutely. you said you're going to leave this for the crew. I sure am. Woohoo! Yeah. All yours. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. That was great. Thank you. Hey, still to come, our friend Janine from the City Moms is going to share some expert tips for finding the best place to stay if you're thinking about taking a staycation with friends. We're back in two short minutes. Stick around.